Hi, I'm Dr. Samantha. I'm a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner with over 13 years nursing experience, working in mother baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, I'm perinatal mental health certified, and I'm maternal newborn nursing certified. Bleeding is very scary during pregnancy, so understanding what the color of your bleeding means is very important. Today we will be talking about everything you ever wanted to know about the color of your bleeding during pregnancy and why it's so important to take it seriously. So click those like and subscribe buttons and stay with us. Red is the most common sign of bleeding, but when you're looking at bleeding during your pregnancy, there's bright red and there's dark red. So bright red blood is a sign of active bleeding. The bleeding is fresh and the flow is steady. It's coming from somewhere right now. Dark red bleeding is bleeding that is slowing down. This is a sign that your bleeding is resolving. Pink is usually seen in spotting. This is when your blood mixes with cervical fluid. This can often be seen after having sex when bleeding can occur, especially early in your pregnancy. And so sometimes the pink is also blood mixed with semen. Brown is old blood. Brown blood can be sticky or thick. And the color range of brown can actually be from light brown to almost black. This is old blood. This is usually left over from an old bleed. A major reason why bleeding is so scary is because we are worried about miscarriage. But implantation bleeding is very common around the same time as miscarriages. So let's talk about the difference. Miscarriage bleeding is usually dark red in color and there are visible clots or pieces of blood. The flow is spotty, but it does grow heavier. Implantation bleeding is brown or lighter in color. There are no clots and it's a light flow that lasts for just a few hours. With all of these different types of blood or secretions that you may see, you need to call your healthcare provider immediately and tell them what's going on, which means you need to be able to describe to your provider what you're seeing. And one of the most important things to describe is the amount of blood. So, in the healthcare field, your doctor may say, is the bleeding scant, light, moderate, or heavy? Scant means there's only a little bit of blood. You might actually only see it on the tissue when you wipe, or there's less than an inch on your pad in one hour. Light means there's less than four inches of a stain of blood in one hour on your pad. Moderate means there's a less than six inch stain in one hour. And finally, heavy means your entire pad has been saturated with blood in one hour. You may see other colors of discharge with your blood. This discharge may be spotted with blood, but it's definitely distinct. Gray is usually caused by bacterial vaginosis. It's usually associated with a smell and you can feel itchy or a burning sensation. An orange discharge can be blood mixed with the discharge from bacterial vaginosis or another infection called trichomoniasis. Yellow or green discharge could be a sexually transmitted disease and white with speckles of blood can be yeast. No matter what the color of your blood or the color of your discharge, it's very important you call your healthcare provider immediately so they can assess the situation. I hope this video has helped you learn all about the different colors of blood you might see during your pregnancy and what to do about them. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button so you can get our latest content in pregnancy, labor, and early childhood parenting. Share this video with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.